Uh, go blight. Tell me, a, tell me a reason that your prophet here received truly a book from God, true God. Give me a reason. Good reason. So you you want a solid reason of the Quran being uh, You know, the Quran or anything. Give me a reason that Allah is a true God or Muhammad is a true prophet, whatever you wish. Uh, well, um, uh, hold up, let me look through all my days. You can search. Well, I mean, yeah, uh, I mean, if you look at the well, you know, the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem, the Dome of the it's Rock in Jerusalem, uh huh. You know, you know of it, yeah. What about uh, it? Uh, me, I see as proof. That the Quran stayed it just more just more proof that the Quran has been unchanged for how many years is that? Um one three years. I mean I, my friend, we just showed you that the Quran was delivered by Shaitan, and now you are coming to me with the proof that the Quran has never changed. Let us say for the sake of argument, Quran never changed. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let, for the sake of argument, Shaitan never changed. But are you saying to me that the Quran you have today, do you swear by Allah that the Quran you have today is never changed? Ne never, never changed. It's like the meaning and the wording. Well, never change. There's other meaning. I mean, there's when I say never change, never change. So never change or never change or change. It, um, yeah, it never changed the way it came from uh, Allah. Yes, that's what we're right. going so what is the first chapter your prophet here receive from Allah? Uh, Where we can find this in the Quran? Is that chapter 96? Uh, let me type it off. Huh? What chapter? Wait, let me, let me type it off for you. What chapter is? The Muslims do not so, know. If, uh, if, they don't know. They are learning from me. Uh, chapter 96, yeah, chapter 96. Uh -huh. So you just said, the Quran never changed. So if Allah gave Muhammad Quran number one, and now Quran number one is Quran number 96. So who is the one who changed the location of the Quran? Well, actually, that's a good question. I won't so yes, we know that um, Iqra came first and there's other ones, Baqa, parts of Baqa, we know it came last and all that. So there's a hadith. Um, there's a lot of hadith on the topic, but I'll give it a uh, short one. So it was narrated by Ahmed Abu Dawood at Tirmidhi. I'll skip the Isnad. And it was basically like, what made you put Anfal next to Tawbah? And what made you put, uh, and why did you not put Bismillah Rahman and Rahim at the start of Tawbah? This is part of the hadith. As then Uthman radiallahu anh said, uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to receive the revelation of Surah with many verses. When they were revealed, he would call his scribes and tell them, Put these verses in the surah where such and such is mentioned. Al Anfal was one of the first surahs to reveal the Medina, and, uh, and Al Bara was one of the last parts of the Quran to be revealed. Its stories were similar to those mentioned in Al Fal, so it was taught to put it as part of it. The Messenger of Allah um, was taken while explaining, was taken, sorry, was taken, died um, while explaining whether it was indeed part of it, so they were put next to each other. And the line, Bismillah rahman rahim So basically, the ordering of them was um, given to us by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Is, that, like an, is, that, an, is that an authentic hadith? Um, no. It is, but rating, it's rating is Sahih. <laughs> it is, is it, narrated by Ahmed. Either you say to me it's authentic or not. Is it authentic or not authentic? Sahih, so yes, it's authentic. It's authentic. So, uh, so guys, take, take note. He said it's authentic. So Muhammad himself is the first one to change the word of Allah because Muhammad have no right to change no, 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 anything. No, no. <laughs> Muhammad is just a warner. You just said everybody heard you. Everybody heard you. And I asked you, yeah. is that authentic? So now you have no excuse. You said, yes, it's authentic. So you are and saying... I, did I ever say that? The wording, I said he changed the plate. Be, look, in the, in the hadith, it says, why was Tawbah put beside al -Fal? And it, in the hadith, Muhammad said, um, he said they were put together because they had the same um, topics. So it, it, he did not change any part of the actual verses. He, no, he was he the changed. One just, um, he changed. He changed because when you take sentence out of their places as Allah gave it to him, that is a corruption. If I write a book and I made a sentence in page number one, 
and then you take my sentence to page number 50 that is what corruption is about even your Quran <clears throat> even your Quran confirmed that the Quran says that those who change the words from their location is the one who doing corruption is that correct see the thing the thing is that this is what um what do you call it this is how Allah said that you should do it how uh, no, no 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 you Quran cannot hadith. say to me this is how Allah you should do it because if Allah he said this is how you do it it should be in the Quran because remember Muhammad received revelation either by something called Hadith Qudsi, which is a scam, and or Quran. Neither of them, it says what you are saying. Can you show me where in the Quran it says that Allah told Muhammad to change location of verses? The Quran says the opposite. He, Those who change location of words from their location, you see the Muslim translation, they lie. They say they switch word or twist word from their context. It's a lie. The Quran saying, Wait. So they change the location of words from their places. In another way, they displace the words. Correct? So, okay. Yes, but the thing is that, as I said, the hadith, I said there are multiple. So there's another one by Al Qadi al uh, Abu Bakr. The order of the verses is something that is obligatory and binding. The so listen, listen, the so now what you confront to me. <laughs> But you confirm to me that your prophet, he did not leave the Quran as Allah gave it to him. He started playing it's with it. You said that, everybody heard you guys. Did he say the prophet told them to put this one here and that one there? You said that. And this, yes, and this hadith is telling you that Jibreel told them where to put each verse. Each verse. So that means Allah told them. If Jibreel told Unless you want to. <laughs> Listen. Yes. If Jibreel told him to do that, Jibreel had yes. to receive verses from Allah. Because you, the Quran yes. says, because this is a contradiction. Allah says, the one who changed the words from their right places, he is a bad person. He is betraying God. So those people okay. who change location, they are not good people. And now you are saying to me that Allah, why Allah want to do that? Are you saying to me, Allah? When after he gave Muhammad the Quran, he found that he is wrong and he decided to change the location of where what he said. Now, that's a slight debate because uh, <laughs> angels, uh, they, they do not have um, it's a it's a peak of the debate, but they generally agreed on not to have free will. So if Jibreel told him to do X, then it is um, usually agreed upon that Allah told him to do X. My friend, what, is, what about free will now? In Islam, there is no free will. I'm saying, I'm saying, listen, 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 focus with me, focus okay. with me. If Jibreel told Muhammad to change the location, why even Muhammad he accept? Shouldn't he say, if Allah give it to me this way, why I am changing it? Did Muhammad ask him why I'm changing it? Okay, so we know that Jibreel is the one, as we know from the first verse, who, who gave it to him, it came to Jibreel. It, it was given to him from Jibreel, so and we know it's from Allah to Jibreel to Muhammad. First of all, and can you show me? Can you show me where the first verse it says that Jibreel is the one who gave him what he gave him? Where it says Jibreel? Where the name mm -hmm. Jibreel appear? Where the name Jibreel appear? So chapter ninety six, I don't see anywhere the name Jibreel. Where's the name Jibreel? Where's the name Jibreel? There's no name. No, Jibreel. I, uh, um, I think it's mentioned somewhere. Let me. I mean, uh, is it true that the one who told him that this is Jibreel, it was the cousin of Khadija, Waraq ibn Nufal? No, no, no um, it's because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He, he, he was physically there. Nobody told him. He was there, and then he ran home. No, 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 so no, 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 it's, no, it's from no. His own Okay, give me a proof that Jibreel told Muhammad I'm Jibreel. Go ahead. Well, um, sure. Wait one sec. Uh, it could oh. be uh huh. If you find me the proof, um, I will buy you a ticket, one-way ticket to Afghanistan for for vacation in the beach. Uh, no, no need that be calm though. But no, no, need. no, 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 no. I challenge you. You will not find such a thing. When the, when Jibril he came to Muhammad, you said that nobody told Muhammad. Jibril told him, "I am Jibril." Show me where it says that he did not tell him anything. He said to him, "Just write away, read." 
He did not say his name. He did not even say assalamu alaikum. Yes, as as you can see at the start of the verse. Why he, know why he, he did said, not why he did not say why Muhammad why Jibreel did not say to Muhammad assalamu alaikum, which means shalom to you. Why? Is he is that because Allah, is that because he is the devil? No, simply because that's simply how Allah uh, willed for him to start to okay. start. So are you to saying to me that this is how Allah delivered the Quran? So how come when the angel came to Mary, he said to her, Peace unto you, Mary, shalom to you, Mary. So Gabriel, Gabriel, the one who came to Mary, he cannot be the same Gabriel, the one who came to Muhammad, because Gabriel who come to Mary, the first word he say, the greeting of peace. The one who came to Muhammad, he did not give him peace. He never mentioned the word peace. Muhammad started using the what? word peace later after he met with the Christian and the Jews and he learned it from them. Is that correct? Um, I think there's another hadith about the use, usage of salam. No, 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 no. Don't, the, don't tell me hadith. Hold on, just focus with me. You see, the first chapter Allah he gave to Muhammad, did even Allah mention his name? Mention whose name? Allah, does he mention his name? In the beginning, like you know, as usual, we see here in the name of Allah. Why here? There's no. Allah, why in? Why did not say in the name of Allah? What do you, What do you mean? Iqwa bismi wa bika lazi. Like I know, are you saying in Allah's name? But in Muhammad? the top, in the top here, the Muslim they added this because they are corrupting the Quran. So I'm asking you now, why in the verses why Jibril, which is supposed to just say in the word of Allah, he's not saying his own words. Why Allah he did not say to Muhammad, uh, uh, read in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful? The next area is, read in the name of Allah. No, he did not say. He, he just say your Lord. He didn't say the name. What 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 do you mean? He just said your name. Okay, just to make this it, is just this to is to make it just to make it simple for you. The word Rahman. Mm -hmm. When the first time the Muhammadan use it. Or Muhammad. When's the first time that the word Rahman was used? Uh huh. I don't know. As you see, it did not is not used. Wait, wait, are you are you trying to say are you trying to say why the word Bismillah was not used was not used in the actual revelation, but they added it? It's not. Is that what you're not to only, say? No, not only this. This is something later add to the names of your God. Muhammad he learned about the word Rahman from a guy, his name is Rahmanul Yamama. He Rahmanul Yamama, he sent him a letter saying in the name See? in the name of uh, 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 Rahman uh, 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 Rahmanul Yamama. Muhammad he wrote a letter See back. That? He said, Hold on. He says in the name of Allah Ar Rahman. The Arab they said to Muhammad, oh, huh? Muhammad they have a new Muhammad have a new God? Now he no in the Quran. Hold on. In the Quran itself, so, uh, himself so, so I'm asking you. I'm asking you. If Allah, His name is Ar Rahman, why Allah yes. did not mention His name to Muhammad until the guy Rahman al Yamama show up? Well, uh, the, I don't get how you can confirm this because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He says He's Ar Rahman al Rahim multiple times in the Quran in Medina in Mecca surahs. My friend, before, I, I, will, like, I will take you. I will take you to your level. Obviously, all of you Muslims, including the Sheikh, they do not know what they are talking about. In chapter seventeen, verse one ten, they ask Muhammad, "Why you are invoking okay. Ar Rahman? Why you can read the Tafsir?" Because they never heard him saying Ar-Rahman before. Wait. It's a new name. He used Wait, to say Allah. He used to say Allah. Wait, suddenly, suddenly Muhammad, Wait, he is using the word Rahman. Wait, hold up. What verse number? What verse number? Chapter 17, verse 110. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah continue, continue. All right. So they said, oh, look now, Muhammad, you have two gods, Allah and Rahman, which mean... Muhammad never ever used the word Rahman until he learned it from this guy. And suddenly he stuck with it. And this is why I'm saying to him, why when Allah, he sent Jibreel to Muhammad first time, 
He did not say in the name yes. of Allah, the Rahman, the Rahim. The reason is very simple. That name is not exist. Muhammad did not learn it yet. He was just using Allah. He learned from Rahman al Yamama, Rahman Rahim. So he add them now in his book. And this is why the Arab, they were mm -hmm. wondering, the, 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 the Kuffar, they were saying, look, Muhammad, he used to call one God. Now he's calling two, Allah and Rahman. So Muhammad now he wanna he wanna answer them. Look, hold on, hold on. Your 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 prophet he gave a very funny silly answer. He said all good names belong to Allah. I'm going to call Allah Monica. Wait wait hold up. When did the Arab say this? In the previous verse? No, in the read the interpretation for it. In the in the, in the oh the tafsir of the ayah yeah uh -huh, uh -huh. okay. yeah yeah. Can I call Allah uh, Hunter Biden? It's a good name. Wait, it's not. Can I call him Trump? Uh, Can I call Allah Trump? It says Ism al Husna, it's not saying simply no. good names. First, uh, and read Arabic, uh, good man. What, what is al Husna? Al Asma al Husna. So all good names belong to Allah. So now Muhammad could not explain to them where this name is coming from. Shouldn't he say. This is a name Allah told me from before. No, now he is claiming that all good names belong to Allah. Shu shu tu tu mu mu su su fu fu. Joe Biden, Obama, Christian Prince. I mean, everybody. Gold names. I mean, you, know, you can call Allah whatever you want. A fan, you know, Tesla. Hey, God Tesla, peace upon him. So what? So he never. He cannot explain where and suddenly how this name suddenly appear. And now listen carefully. Chapter 17 in the Quran. What is the real number for this chapter? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Can you find me? According because, to Revelation. Because, huh? Uh, the, because the order the order that was put, Jibreel told Muhammad this order, this specific order. It's in the hadith. No problem, no problem. So can you tell me this chapter is where can be found? Um, I mean, you can know whether the verse, whether the surah is, oh, whether the surah is medani or not to uh -huh. judge where it's being revealed. Okay. So listen revealed. carefully. According to the books of Asbab, yep. uh, sorry, the reason of uh, Nizul, or according to Revelation, this is a chapter number 50. Yeah. Okay. 50. Yes. Meccan surah. Which means Muhammad, mm. he was claiming to be a prophet of Allah. And he already received 50 chapter, yet he never mentioned the name Rahman before, ever. So, so what happened? Allah was playing hide and seek. He did not tell him that his name is Rahman or Muhammad. He liked the name. He just added, and this is what happened. Look, it says it clearly. He added the name. All good names belong to Allah. This is not Allah name. No, as this is not Allah name. As we can, this is not Allah. Can, this is not Allah name. Read it. Whatever name you invoke to Him, whatever name, the Allah. You know, they ask Him why you are calling Him Rahman. You, you have a new God now. He says, I call Him Allah or I call Him Ar Rahman. It doesn't matter. For all names belong to Allah. All good names. So obviously, Muhammad, he just copied the name from the guy. 50 chapter he received, he never mentioned the word Rahman. And then if you go in the Quran, if you go in the Quran, just to show you that this book is book of corruption. Chapter 17, verse number one. I want you to focus with me. This is very tough for you. Do you see here it says, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, beneficent, merciful? There's no Rahman. Even yes. in the same chapter. That's not, hold on, hold that's on. Not part of, hold on, hold on, part of the, hold on, hold on. So now, chapter number 50, chapter number 50, and yet, yeah. a Rahman is mentioned in verse 110, is not even in the beginning. So now, if this is, Something very important for Allah. That's why later we find in the name of Allah the most merciful everywhere. Everywhere, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Oh, 
But then we will but find that, that they are that. they are adding it. Look, guys, do you see? It's not verse number one. It's a fabrication. If Allah did not say in the name of Allah, why the Muslim put in there Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim? The Quran does not have it. They add it. Because hold on, hold on. And now let us go. Let us go to verse number one. Let us go to verse number one. Verse number one. Hold on. Verse Nobody number, says that. Verse, the actual okay, okay. Verse number one in the Quran is what verse in Islam? Uh, verse number one. Yes, that one, that that one is um, what do you call it? There's a different opinion of amongst scholars as to whether to cut the one for Bismillah. But for every other surah, it's agreed upon. You just say Bismillah because you're saying the same way you say Bismillah before you eat. But what no, I no, want no, to no. talk listen, about listen, is I'm asking you. According to Revelation, chapter of Al Fatiha is what chapter? Uh, the first chapter. Uh huh. No, oh, according to Revelation. Oh, I'm, I don't know again of the chapter. It says according to you, it's chapter number five. According to to you, to, like your, a, to your scholars, hmm? according to your scholars, is chapter number five. Where where you getting that? Where are you getting this info from? Well, you yes, can, I'm oh, you can so. search right now any website. I know them by heart. Go to uh, I search Quran according to Revelation. Quran, uh, 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 Quran uh, uh, order according to Revelation. You will find it. Yeah. Okay. Did you find the website? Any website, open it. Muslim website, don't open the Christian website. They are kuffar. Okay, okay, yeah, fair. I think I found... Okay. Wait, wait. wait. So does it say yeah, Al-Fatiha is number five? Okay, fair. Yeah, yeah, it's going by Fatiha's number All five. right. So guys, focus with me, and I want you to focus with me. We just killed your prophet. Look how what happened. Guys, in chapter number f uh, uh, five, which is now number one, does it say in the Quran, in verse number one, in the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim? It says that, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. But we just approved that the first time the word Ar-Rahman is used in chapter number 50, which is today 17, The scholars already agree. It's already a difference among scholars about whether Bismillah, that first Bismillah. What scholar, guys? Is look at this. So, are you saying to me the scholars? You, 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 it's you who gave me the microphone saying to me, okay, I will give you the reason Quran never changed. It's you who mentioned the topic. And now you are saying to me, the Muslim scholar, they have, they, they differ if chapter of Al Fatiha start with the name of Allah or not. But what we have now. Well, Huh? Let me explain it to you. Let me explain it to you. So <laughs> basically the the Sahaba themselves they agreed upon that it must be written at the beginning of the surah apart apart from surah to Tawbah, yeah? But, mostly, um, mostly mostly hmm? mostly You said what? mostly agreed. You said mostly. No, I said okay, the Sahaba, the Sahaba, yeah, not the, the scholars. Sahaba, I mean companions. If if the Sahaba so the, Sahaba is higher than the uh, the scholars, they are the companions. Okay, wait, so now the companions wait, of Muhammad, wait, they this, did they agree that Al Fatiha has start with the name of Allah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim or not? So the Sahaba is agreed upon that every single surah starts with um, Bismillah except Tawbah. And the thing is that um, for okay, hold on, guys, hope the Sahaba they agree. Listen to this carefully. He just nailed his prophet. The Sahaba, the companion, they agree that every chapter in the Quran start with in the name of Allah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. But we just showed you that the first time Muhammad, the first time Muhammad, he mentioned the word Rahman, it was in chapter number fifty, which is in the Quran today as seventy. It's not part of the Quran, as you can see in Surah Al Iqra itself. It says Bismillah, the top written, but it's not given a verse number. You, so, you simply so, so you you are say saying, it. okay, no, 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 hold on. Yeah. Okay, in chapter oh, of Al Fatiha, Al Fatiha, okay, chapter of Al Fatiha, is it verse number one or it's not? That That is what I'm going to. 
So basically, <laughs> the scholars, the, um, they have a different on opinion uh -huh. regarding this big this fatty only because the rest are known. I not thought the verses. Quran, guys. I thought the Quran is a preserved word by word, yeah. perfect by perfect, and now. The scholars, they disagree, they have different opinion if this verse is part of the chapter or not. <laughs> yes, my guy, as you can see, whether you have it or not, because this will be read, whether you, um, you have it or not. But the thing is, because uh, in like, who cares about them, happy, my friend? Who cares about being happy or not? Focus with me, Abdul, focus. Too much, too much hashish. Listen, uh, this is not about I'm happy or sad. I feel sorry for you. You just said that you Muslims are not sure if this verse is part of this chapter or not. So somebody added. Because as you see, the first time a Rahman appeared, it was a chapter number 50. So there's no way that in chapter number 50 it appeared first time, but we find it in chapter number 1. My boy. So, um, what was I trying to say? Is that... Um, my days, but I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, now nah, continue, continue. How old? How old are you? Hmm? Huh? How old are you? Does it really matter? Well, you don't call a sheikh because you know, according to Islam, it's better if you have two witnesses. So if one of them forgot, the other one will remind her. Uh, of course, I don't have a man with me. Uh -huh. You don't know any good shake like smart someone smart smarter he can beat me okay. i don't have them either bro you do not what you, i don't understand I don't, why. I don't have them to call no you can call no them. i no i don't have no you can call them why not i mean shakes i like shake you know like this guy arifi the one who making chapter of the apple call him tell him this guy he claimed to be a scholar he think he know islam get him busted you know Look, he is demolishing Islam wherever we go. So Ar Rahman obviously is something being added to the Quran long after. And look, as yeah, long that's where, as long in chapter Ar Rahman, chapter chapter 17, which is 50 uh, in the original Quran, and the, the first time Rahman appear, then here you see in the same Al Fatiha, the word Rahman appear again in verse number three. So now we have bigger problem because Rahman Rahim appear twice in the chapter of Al-Fatiha, which means this verse and this verse is a fabrication, at least in one chapter, no. which is not even seven verses. Bro, the, it's, it's agreed upon that it's before every surah except Tawbah. So, um, if, it's agreed, if it's agreed upon, it's okay, thank you guys. He said it's agreed upon that every chapter in the Quran, except at Tawbah, it says in the name of Allah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. You just like killed, the, you just killed <laughs> Muhammad again. Look what happened. I just told you, and I can show you the reference. The first time Muhammad mentioned the word Rahman is in chapter <laughs> number 50. So how every no, chapter starts with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim if Muhammad gave you the 50 chapter yet he never mentioned the word Rahman? Yes, I'm not saying that Bismillah was revealed before. What, hap what I said is that the Sahabas agree that Bismillah should be said. It should ah, be written. Guys, an see, the Quran is not... So, guys, did you hear? Now we understand what he is saying. Should be said. Should be said. Yeah. So Allah, did not, so Allah did not add this in the Quran. Muslim, they add it because we should say it. 